What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today we're going to talk about now look I had no video planned for today I was like what the fuck there's no cricket going on we've got another like five or six days until the next test match you know it's too early to make previews of the next test match um and then I was like well fuck you know I'm not gonna react to Brad Hogg's 40 minute video um because I'm like geez Hoggy you know, maybe if it was 20 minutes, we'd react to it, but not so much. And I'm like, well, we still need to have cricket content on the channel because that's what we're all about here. Um, and then I thought, you know what? We're bringing new concepts to the channel. We're building, we're learning, and we're building even more. <laughs> um, so, you know, we're here to discuss. Is, is this series going to be a clean sweep? Now, obviously, it can't be a whitewash because the fine definition, the exact definition of a whitewash is... It would be 5-0. You have to win every single test match in the series. And we, as we know, the uh, first test match was obviously um, washed out. And India, let's be honest, we're obviously going to win that first test match as well on the last day. Um, but everything happens for a reason. So now it is, can India go 4-0 in this series and win a clean sweep? Who would have thought, before this series started, who would have thought that India could be on the cusp of a historic series win in England. Beating England in a series on their home soil is hard enough. But trying to do it 4-0, I mean, that that is incredible stuff, if, if possible. Now, obviously, they're only 1-0 up. Am I getting ahead of myself? Probably. But at the end of the day, who cares? Because India's squad looks so much more built. They look so much more of a prepared cricket team, a much more confident cricket team. They look so much, just so much fucking better. Like, um, <laughs> England looks stuffed, if I'm going to be really honest. And I've said this, and I will say it again. England, ever since they lost Alistair Cook at the top order, they have been a finished cricket team. Um, you know, their top order, I like, we're not going to go too much through it, but I've said, you know, ever since they brought in this top order, um, uh, like, look who their top order is. Burns, Sibley, I mean, now it's Hasib Hamid. They've obviously had Lawrence and Crawley in there. Like, they're nobodies. They are fucking garbage. They, they, they have one good innings, and then that's it. Like, it's they rely so much on Joe Root to, to score big, big runs. And even then, when Joe Root scores 180 not out, they lose by 151 runs. You know, someone like Bairstow and Butler are the veterans in this team. Look at their second innings. Bairstow 2, Butler 25. That is not good enough. Now, all credit to Butler because he did hold on for 96 deliveries. So, you can give him a little bit of a tick for that one. But Bairstow, mate. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> that is just garbage. But we're going to be going through and discussing why, in, why I think India will go on to win this series 4-0. Now, obviously... I made my channel poll. I made a, a poll on the channel before the first test started. And I said, what's everyone's predictions? Who will win the series? And obviously everyone said India. But a lot of the comments were like, oh, I, I want India to win. But I think England will win 3-1 or 4-1. And I was like, guys, I was just thinking to myself, these are crazy. India's team is so much better. Like there, It is so much stronger. Bowling, all-rounder. Top order, I mean, they have such a complete cricket team to England's team, which is falling apart very, very quickly, um, to be real. Um, and we're going to go through some changes that they have made. They've already made like two or three changes to their whole squad in, in um, preparation for the third test match. Um, so we're going to go through it here. Let's go through it. Now, Dawid Milan is back in the side. That's a no-brainer. Unsure why he hasn't been in the squad. I know he had some... His most recent test matches that he had played were pretty average, um, and hence why he wasn't even in the squad. But I would much rather Dawid Milan in my squad of cricket than Dom Sibley, Zach Lawrence, Crawley, um, or Dan Lawrence, sorry, and Zach Crawley. Um, and then Hasib Hamid. I mean, you give if 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 I'm England, I give Hasib another test match. I I let Hasib um, play in the third test match. I think you'd be very very unfair. To obviously, um, you know, drop him after one test match. Look, he wasn't great, obviously, in the first, uh, in the second test match. But you still have to play him. Um, and they've brought in Saqib Mahmood. Um, 
But obviously, I think he's a pace bowler, right? He's a, he's a pretty quick pace bowler. So look, they're obviously looking for new pace bowler. Mark Wood came in for Stuart Broad, bowled well. Robinson's been bowling well. Um, Craig Overton, well, he's not playing, and I would not be playing him either. Um, they have, obviously, Jimmy Anderson. Is Jimmy Anderson right? Is he going to play the third test match? If Jimmy Anderson doesn't play the third test match, India are going to cruise to all sorts of victory here. Um, and then we look at who they drop from the squad. Zach Crawley and Dom Sibley are out. And Jack Leach has also been dropped as well, pretty much. He's just back up for Moline Alley. Um, Mark Woods, oh, injury right shoulder. That's right, I totally forgot. So that's why Sakib, what's his name? Sakib? Yeah, Sakib Mahmood would be brought into the squad. It makes sense. Um, they're, in, they're in trouble, England. And I think, you know, this is going to go a lot... and. This is going to go a lot deeper than just this series. I think the Ashes, when they come down to Australia, I think we will beat them 4-0, 5-0, 4-1, 3-2. Like, we will win that Ashes. I'm so confident. Um, no one clip this in case we do lose because then I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> but I, I genuinely think that England are in a lot of trouble for the next three to four years of cricket. Um, they're in trouble. Um, and ever since Alastair Cook left, they're in trouble. Yes, I know they have injuries to their squad, and a lot of English people would use that as an excuse, like, no, Ben Stokes. Hashtag F Ben Stokes in the comments, by the way. Um, ben Stokes, Broad is now ruled out. Joffre Archer has been ruled out. Um, I think that's pretty much it, to be real. So, look, injuries, but injuries happen to everyone. Um, so you can't always use injuries as an excuse. Of course, Broad would have been handy. Of course, Archer would have been handy. And of course, I'll, I'll give him some credit. Ben Stokes would have been handy in that middle order. But you don't have him. You can't sook about it. So to be real with you guys, I, India will win this series 4-0. As long as the weather stays out of the result, India will win 4-0. I'm very, very confident um, in that the next test match starts in five days. <laughs> five days. They're really going to make us wait five more days from the time I'm recording for the next test match. That's just fucked up. I know. Who cares about the 100 league? Tell the 100 league to piss off. Because I, I would much rather watch te more test cricket. But hey, they need a break. Um, but yeah. Now, I, I, I seriously think India are in the box seat. They cannot lose from here, the series. I know some people are going to comment saying, you know, don't jinx us or, or don't, you know, like you're getting too ahead of yourself. But I, I have seen enough in these first two test matches to, to rule England out of winning this series. And you know what? England might go on and win a test match in this series. If, if, if the, if the, if the, the miracle happens and Burns makes a good score, um, Sibley's been dropped, Hasib makes a decent score, um, who else is going to be? Oh, Dawid Milan will obviously come in. I like Milan as a Punjab Kings man. I actually think he's such a classy batsman, um, not just in short form cricket. So, you know, really they should be okay. Do India make any changes? I might make a separate video on that. Uh, my early thoughts are... Wait, where's the next test match? Let's go through that um, before we... Head oh don't bring up Headingley. I don't really want to talk about Headingley. Um well, what sort of pitch is Headingley normally? Um quite green by the looks of that photo. Is is Headingley a batting pitch? I Oh my goodness. So it's expected to fucking rain. You've got to be kidding me. Swing could be on the countertop. The pitch is a batsman paradise in the first inning. Mm. So maybe. Maybe um, they don't make any changes. Maybe you do keep in Ishant Sharma. He batted incredibly well. Ah, uh, but batted. He bowled incredibly well in that second test match. If the pitch is expected to swing early on, you don't let go of Ishant Sharma. You obviously keep Siraj. You keep Bumrah in there. Maybe Pajara comes out for Agarwal, but then again, you don't want to upset the team and the order. And Pajara did play quite well in that second inning. So I don't think you make any changes. And there is nothing better than playing away from home. You lead the series 1-0 in the third test match. And you are all, and you still are making no changes. They've made one change the whole series. Which was Sharma came in for Shadul Fakua. 
Um, and I don't think they make any more changes, to be honest, in the third test match. Um, it's exciting. And I'm so excited for this third test match. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Will India go on and win the series? You know, as long as weather doesn't play a part, will India go on and win this series 4-0? Or will England ping it back? Will it be a tight series at the end? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.